Hi, my name is Adam Bykowski. I want to show you a website called ImageKind. It's a site where you can view my photography and purchase fine art frame prints of my work. I'm very excited about this website because it shows you what my work would look like on your wall. Let me show you what I mean. You can go to, go to Google and type in the word ImageKind and click on the link to the site. It will take you to the, to the home page and to the right in the screen of the search bar right here uh, you would type in my name Adam Bykowski or just my last name Bykowski and it will take you to my profile page that you see here. What's really cool is when you look at this image right here it has one of my images on the wall of a room with some contemporary furniture in it in this case a bedroom so that you get a feel for what it might look like on your wall. Pretty neat huh? So if we scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will see all of my photos as you go down they're all for sale at the bottom of the page is a gray highlighted number in this case one if we click on num the number two the page will change to show more of my work but what is also neat is that it changes the photo here to show another room with one of my images on a wall I love that so let's go down and do that again. It's just uh, something I really enjoy. And it, if you click on the one that's not highlighted in gray, in this case one, and you look and it changes the room setting again. I could do this all day. We're going to just do one more. And this is just something you can play with. I think I missed a click here and you get a feel for the images that I have in a setting in, in your house, a friend's house, an office, whatever, wherever you're looking to put this. Uh, so let's let's take a look at how we would go about if you were to make a purchase. First of all, you can go to this area here where it says, what color is your wall? If you click on the red area, for example, it'll change everything from the white background to red so that you can get a look at what one of these images would look like on a red wall. You don't have red, you want green, you can click on green. Uh, if that's not close to your wall, you can click on different shades, darker, lighter, and to get a get a pretty good understanding of how close it can come to your wall, it's, you got a lot of choices. Let's say there's, you want blue, you can click on different shades of blue. Get more of a teal blue, and so forth. So uh, that's something that gets you started. Uh, let's say that you wanted to buy one of my images. You'd click on it like this one here, which is uh, of the Chicago River in downtown Chicago. And uh, all over to the right here, you see the available sizes in the prints and the prices. Uh, let's say you wanted to get it matted and framed as well. Then you go to this area here where it says gallery frame. Click on that and it'll take you to an area that shows that same image with matte paper and framing all around it. Pretty neat. Uh, right now it's showing you 16 by 24 so you can see that, that this is a 16 inches high from it's just the print itself from from here to here and 24 inches from here to here just so you're aware of that. Let's say you're not looking to have that frame and you just want to get some different choices go to this area where it says pick your own frame and click on that. It'll take you to the next page which will give you a lot of different choices. And it loads up here. It'll show you the image again and the first thing I would do is go to this area where it has the different sizes. Uh, and again, it'll show you different choices. Pick that one. We're going to stay with the medium right now with that 24 by 16 which is a nice wall size. And then you next go to select wall color and you'll get different colors that you can choose from. Why I didn't pick the other one from the other page doesn't carry over, I'm not sure why. But again, you can click on different shades of different colors. You do have quite a few choices here. Just so you can get an idea what it would look like in an area that you would like to hang this. So let's say we want something like this here, some kind of neutral color. And the next thing you would want to do is select a paper type. That's the photo paper that this is going to get printed upon. Uh, it defaults to enhanced matte which I prefer because it's uh, not as glossy and it shows the 
color and depth and clarity of the image better. That's my own personal preference. But you have all these choices here, and if you're not sure what they are, you can go towards the bottom here, and where it says the selected paper, it'll explain what the paper is all about. Pretty neat. Uh, then after that, go to pick a frame, and this is a fun part here. Go to category, click on a drop down menu, and click on all categories. And once you do that, you'll get all these different choices. And if you scroll down, you get a lot of different choices. You have all these different frames that you can choose from. Uh, briefly, if you want it red, click on the red one, and you'll see it changes the color to red. You click on a yellow, changes the frame to yellow. So this is all different frames that you can choose from, different types of black, different kinds of wooden frames. You want a wooden frame, uh, something like this one here, for example. Click on that, and it'll change it. So let's just say, for example, that's something you want, but you don't want the black. You want to see what different choices you have of the matte paper. Then you would go to add zero to three mats. And you have one, two, and three. You can actually have three different mats, matte one being the wide one, matte two being the thin inset one, and you can actually add a third mat for extra accent, which is also a thin one similar to this one here. Uh, let's say you don't want black. Go to the drop-down menu again. You have white cream, all these different whites and beiges in there. The black, gray, the tan. You can go to blue, green, all these different drop downs. So you can have fun with that. Uh, let's say you wanted something red or a burgundy. If you click on that, it's going to change that to that color. And then say, well, maybe you want to change this. Let's say you go want to go to matte 2 and you want to go to, let's say, black. You click on black and it'll change it black or whatever color you want so if you're done picking that you can go to finish with glazing all that is is the glass but it's not really glass as it says here it's acrylic which is clear non glare which is more of a smoky finish in case you have a window that's putting glare upon it and you don't want all that reflection or UV protection style again it explains all of this you pick, click on a different areas it'll change the prices and recalculate it for you uh, the prices get calculated as you go and uh, once you're happy with your choice and you can go to add to cart and just like any website it'll explain everything you have your the title the size of it and the price and uh, once you're ready to, sh to check out you go to check out click on that and you'll put in your personal information and your your credit card information and it'll get shipped to you matted in frame just like you see it any problems they have a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee uh, and if they don't take care of you please email me and I'll work something out with you um, if you want to keep shopping if you click on I'll keep shopping like right here it'll take you back to the profile page and then you could look at more of my wonderful work and you are be so delighted that you want to buy another one that would be great uh, but anyway uh, thanks for watching, uh, and I hope you make a purchase, or I hope you tell your friends, and have a great day. Thank you.